Okay, uh, here's another video that I have which is on the same topic of seven ways to hurt your daughter's future. And this one is you only let your daughter hang out with other girls. You know, and what that does is it allows your daughter to be reinforced with certain stereotypes. You know, there were some studies done, you know, about all girls schools and things like that. And they looked at SATs and all that. And, you know, really the, the, the girls didn't turn out any better by having them in those all girls situations. Uh, uh, um, in those all girls schools. And so one of the things that you lose by being in, in an all gender environment is you lose the ability to be able to communicate in other communication styles. And so you reinforce those styles that, that they have. Um, so women only see themselves as being part of the women group. You know, and, you know, this is how we talk to each other and this is how we deal with conflict and this is what's funny to us and all that, you know, you don't really get the other side. And so that's why it's important to make sure you foster those relationships with, you know, the opposite sex early, early on. So girls hanging out with boys and doing different things with them that are, you know, safe and positive, obviously. So, you know, the little girl in the neighborhood, you know, you get, they all get together, you know, because when I was a kid, we used to play kickball together uh, and dodgeball and all that kind of stuff. Um, those are things that, that we did together. Um, that allows the girl to be part of, you know, so if the guys are building a city and everything, you know, she's right along in there building the city with them. You know, if they're playing Pokemon card games or what have you, then again, you're learning to communicate, you're learning to negotiate and being able to, to do that very well. Um, these are the kind of things that are going to help <clears throat> when the, the girl is in that boardroom and she needs to be able to understand understand those cues that the guys have you know that body language is unspoken language she'll be able to learn that because she's had practice doing it from when she was when she was a kid and she also will feel like hey you know what i can i think i can do whatever anybody else is doing you know um now obviously we're not going to talk about physical limitations okay I just want to throw that. We're not going to talk about physical lim limitations. We're, we're talking about from an intellectual standpoint, you know, the woman can do what the guys can do. Okay. Um, another thing that you can do. So a couple things. So encourage friendships with, with boys. Um, another thing uh, would be inviting boys to birthday parties. And now these birthday parties, now you have to be smarter with these birthday parties. See, so you can't do the whole, here's the princess birthday party and you know it's pink everywhere and whatnot and we're gonna go and do dress up okay again we're reinforcing those gender stereotypes and the princess cult and all this stuff and I talk about that in my other videos no we're gonna do other things so you know maybe we do an adventure birthday party or it's a birthday party based upon games or something like that or we do a carnival a carnival events or something like that something where it's not appearance based and you know you do that so you invite the guys over to do that and then finally co-ed sports co-ed sports would be something great then you get in there you know there's co-ed softball basketball um, swimming obviously uh, running things like that when you have when you have males and females competing in the same um, uh, competitions, uh, working as teammates. So when you're doing running, it's more like relays, you know, relays. So we're not going, you know, straight, straight one-on-one -on -one sprinting, but relays that allows for both genders, both males and females to see, Hey, you know, girls can, girls can run fast, you know, girls can jump, girls can shoot, girls can hit a ball, girls can do this kind of thing. 
And so you can, you know, there's competition there and you get to practice all of these things. So uh, long story short, don't reinforce the stereotypes, okay? Let your daughter spend time with boys early in her life and then she will not be so nervous when it comes time to dealing with boys later in life when you know now you have the hormones in there and you know there's all that stuff and that's a topic for another day